Announcements. October 16th through 19th is the first ever fall break for uh, Fairfield. There's no school. And October 23rd, 2020 is the end of the first quarter for grades K to 12. October 26th, 2020, the FCSD returns to face-to-face -face schedule. Please visit the Fairfield City School District website for details at www.fairfieldcityschools.com. November 3rd, 2020 is in-service day number three. There's no school. November 5th, 2020 is a board meeting. It's a work session, 6.30 p.m. right here at the FHS Catherine D. Milligan Community Room. Move on to board member comments. Sorry, Mrs. Shorter. Yes, I just want to say welcome again to Mr. Clark. And I want to also um, say that you have a beautiful family. I love to see the diversity in, in ages. That's nice to, to have and a board member. Um, I'd also like to say thank you so much to Mrs. Uh, Muller and her um, wonderful Alabamian teacher that she brought for that presentation. I must say it was, it was excellent, but, <laughs> um, but I really appreciate the work that was uh, placed into that. It's, it's really good to see what's happening in our schools. Uh, things are moving on regardless of COVID and um, it, it's good to see. So, thank you. Great. Uh, Mrs. Gundrum. Um, I also just want to welcome Mr. Clark to the board. Um, look forward to uh, working with him and um, getting his input on a lot of important things that we do in the district. Um, also, I want to thank um, Mrs. Mueller and uh, the West Elementary uh, for putting together that nice uh, diversity slideshow and sh highlighting the, the different things that they're doing to promote diversity. Um, like, I, like I said to them before, I think the UBU is a great message and, um, but, and, and that we're all in it together. And I think that's wonderful that they're doing that. Great, thank you. Mr. Clark? Um, yes, thank you for the warm welcome. I do appreciate that very much and uh, to everyone in this room. Um, I agree with the West presentation, that, that diversity. I hope other schools are following that pattern and, and doing so because um, it is very, very important in today's world age, at uh, this time with so much um, different, so many different cultures in the area to bring that to the surface. You know, again, go back to the, to the name pronunciation. Um, they could add one letter that means or is sounded differently in different languages, and it, that, that's important. I really like that part of it, but uh, so thank you. Great, thank you. Mr. Bagley? Uh, yes, I too want to, uh, again, welcome you to the board, and as Mr. Birding said while your family was here and Mrs. Shorter alluded to, it is a commitment on their part as well, so thanks to, uh, to Lori and the kids for allowing you to, to join the board and be a part of this. Uh, and, and what we've got going here, which is a really good thing, uh, and you're going to be a big part of that moving forward, so thank you. Uh, again, the presentation was great. I, I think we've all hit on it, and, and to Mr. Clark's point, uh, diversity is across all of our schools, certainly the other elementaries as well, and uh, I hope if it's not that program, it's another program that, that introduces um, and creates those first positive experiences for our students that would really I hope carry through their entire uh, educational experience here at Fairfield and into their adult lives. Great, hey, Mr. Bagley. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm um, I'm excited to to work with Scott. Uh, I've known him through Rotary for a while, and uh, just all the things that he does for the school district and his involvement with children just really just stood out um, for me. So uh, I'm ex I'm excited to get to know more about what you're doing in the community and, and see how we can help and and uh, definitely tap into the resources that you bring. Um, I'm ex also excited for October 26th for the start to face-to-face. -face. I think our kids need it desperately. Um, so next week is hopefully the final week of our hybrid model. So hope we don't have to go back to that. And um, I think with the help of the parents, keeping kids home, if they're not feeling well, if they express or show any kind of uh, symptoms, keep them home, keep our staff in the classroom but we definitely need the parents' help with this. And, um, but I, I know the kids are eager to get back as well. Okay, um, with that, there is a need to recess to executive session to discuss the discipline of public employees, Ohio Revised Code 121.22G1. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. 
I heard Mr. Begley and Mrs. Gundrum. Any questions or comments? I don't anticipate any action to follow. So Mrs. Lane, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Begley? Yes. Mrs. Gundrum? Yes. Mrs. Shorter? Yes. Mr. Clark? Yes. Mr. Birding? Yes. We recess to executive session at 7.41 p.m. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night.